Horse Iron Shirt, June Many Gray Horses, Max Gibb, Rose Rossi. Special thanks to Winston Brewstead, Allison Ritko, and the Blackfoot Canadian Cultural Society. Your relay race judges include Gene Many Gray Horses, Garth Many Gray Horses, Renata Russell, Olin Young Pine, and we have some outriders. That will keep safety of the, our teams out there in the track. And I'd like to thank Hayden Many Gray Horses, Mike Bogard. I'd like to introduce our first heat number one as we see the four boxes set up right there. Those are stationed from one to four. One is on the north end there, and that's Big Tobacco Relay Team. There are the Six Gun Nation Captain Casey McGuire and the Warrior Ian Big Tobacco. In the number two spot there, Six Gun Nation Team, Pretty Young Man, Team Captain Jared Pretty Young Man, Warrior Tyler Leather. Station number three, or I should say box three, will be Morning Rider. Their colors are the neon yellow. Team Captain Megan Yellowfly and Warrior Jaden Leather. And team number four in the fourth box there, Anita Pichi. Black and gold team colors and they're out of the Pagan Nation. I'm Scappy B. Cunny, team captain. Kelvin Plain Eagle and Warrior Dwight Crazy Ball. How about a nice round of applause for our first four teams as they are about ready to go. There are a few rules in this race. Interference playing a big role. Also, if the rider loses his horse, is another automatic disqualification. It is a standing start. Mounted rider right at the line there in Winston Bruce Head will be your official starter. As we can get all the teams into place right there, you notice the lines. And that's the important exchange area. The judges are looking for interference. They are looking for the way of cards. Here we go. And they're up and running out they going in there. It looks like pretty young man is out into the lead. And then we're going in there in second spot. It looks like on the top. And they're heading down into the back stretch. It looks like a two-horse race. Look at these guys riding. The Warriors, they are riding like they have stolen some squads from down south. As they head down into that far turn, it has looked like pretty young man is out in front. As they are coming in there, big tobaccos are in the lead. And right on their tail, we've got pretty young man. And then we've got Morning Rider, or I should say Antapi. We're having a few problems. It looks like we might have lost the rider here. He's having all trouble. Big Tobacco. The horse is acting up just a bit. I'm a pretty young man. It has been a two-horse race. All right. Oh, we got a fucking horse out there in second. As they go into that far first turn around the clubhouse, they are just a flying down the track. These horses are They are looking good. Down the back stretch there, we got a little bit of room there up front there for pretty young men. Right here comes on Stoppy. They are in their second and looks like Big Tobacco who had trouble with their horse exchange as they are coming out. And we got one horse team coming out there. Anastasi, they're into the lead right here. Pretty young man. It could be a two horse race. Big Tobacco's got a little bit of ground to catch up here. As we make that all important exchange. Right here. These riders, these warriors, they are winded. Look at that exchange. Pretty young man. They have gone into the lead. Anastasi, Payan Nation. And Big Tobacco having a few problems as we go down to, into the back stretch. Here they go. Half time a rock going down the track there. It is still. Pretty young man out of Sixica. Sixica, where are you? Cheer on your team. Hey, here comes up Scrappy Dick, honey. And it's Oh, it's going to look close. 
Isaiah coming around into that final turn. Hey, we got a horse race. Here it comes. Make some noise. As these horses are just flying down to the finish line. Look at that, they're neck and neck. This one is going to be right there on top the pagan. Pretty young man sucking. And then we're still looking. Here comes this tobacco. Give him a nice round of applause. And we're going to have to cheer on Morning Rider. They had a few problems at the start of the race there, but they're still out there to keep the track clear. Uh, they want to finish the race. Put your hands together, folks. What do you think of this first race? Uh, we got one team coming down the stretch right there. Oh, heck of a race here. Boy, oh boy, what a way to warm up this afternoon. Wow. Nice to get back to seeing some relay, rocks, uh, relay race action. It's been two years since we've seen some races. And there we go. They've got one more lap to go. They're going to finish. A lot of time and determination for a morning rider. One more round. Cheer them out. Cheer them out. Let's go. Let's go. Keep our going. Pound the drums. You betcha. Look at them get flying down into that turn. There's your winners right there of heat number one. Unstoppy. You betcha. I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right, Travis. There's pretty young man. There's Big Tobacco. And on the back stretch, our team going into that fourth place finish. They want to finish. Morning Rider. Cheer them on, folks. Cheer them on, you betcha, they appreciate this. And they really appreciate the good turnout here. Their first official Indian Relay Race meet in two years. Here they are. Morning Rider. And let's have another round of applause. On the stop, the Pagan Nation in the winner's circle for the win photo. Travis, what do you think of that race?
Hey, thank you there, Travis T. Gibson. We're going in here and shoot heat number two. I do what I've done, shoot number two. <laughs> I sure missed the rodeos. <laughs> Team number one will be Nick Scott O.C. Six a guy, yellow and blue colors, Logan Retco. Team captain. And the rider is Travis uh, Linden. I believe the rider is. They don't have a listed for a rider, but it might be Travis Blood. Number two, M3 Ranch. Team captain, Travis McGuire. They're from the flats on the Six of Guy Nation. The red medicine wheel colors. And the warrior is Travis McGuire. Team number three. Old Sun. These are the Calgary Stampede Champions. Team Captain Allison Wrightco. Warrior Justin McGuire. And they're from Sitsuga Nation. Uh, you betcha. I will well appreciate that. And. <laughs> and number four. Mm. And the number fourteen, Thunder Beings. They're out of them. Um, Team Captain Ty Provost and Warrior Ty Provost. Oh yes, their fan club is here. It looks like they're going down to the standing start area where the four horses will be flagged there once they're getting standing there. Of course, it's three, three laps with the three horse teams here. Indian Relay Race becoming a phenomena with the North American celebrations, including professional rodeos, all the North exhibitions, and looks like they're off and running on the inside. We have got Nick Scott Dosey. And over here, in the number two spot, they got M3 Ranch. Old Sun is holding down third spot, and Thunder Beings are bringing up the back end. As they hit that back stretch, it looks like a two race out front and a good battle for third and fourth. As they close the gap, on, our trailers are coming around into that third turn as they have gained a little bit of ground. It is still looking for Nuke Scott to see up front. And right on them is M3 Ranch. Old Sun in third, but they've covered a lot of ground. Here they come. Cheer them on, folks, for the all-important first exchange. This is looking like a good horse race. We're hoping for a good clean exchange. This is where the horses race is won or lost. Right there is what they're doing. Oh, Thunder Beings. In good shape. M3 Ranch got out of that exchange in good shape. And there goes Nick Scott Dusey. Oh, son, they've got a lot of ground to cover as they go on into the second leg of the second race right here. It's opened up a little bit down the back stretch, but it is still looking good for Thunder Beings out front. And right on them is the M3 Ranch. Nuke's got to see and Old Sun, they've got a little bit of ground to cover as they are coming in down here into that final turn. On to the second exchange. Let's hear it, folks. Put your hands together. Thunder Beings had a good exchange that last time, and all they needed is another clean one. They're starting to hold. Those horses are hard to stop. It looks like Thunder Beings has got shape. Oh, son is looking good. There they go. M3 Ranch is out there. That boy is, he looks like Thunder Beans. They might not be able to catch him. But look at that anchor horse there for M3 Ranch. He's gained a little bit of ground, but he might be too far apart. They might not be able to catch our leader, Thunder Beans, down the back stretch. M3 Ranch has to ride hard. Oh, son has now taken over third. And Nuke's got this here. They need a lot of time. And here they come. 
Thunder Beans, Ty Provost, and the boys from the Butch Sippy Gunny. Look at them as they come around here at the wire. Thunder Beans, M3 Ranch, and second spot. Old Son, such a carnation. And here we go. I think we've lost the rider somewhere along the way, or is he still out there? I have lost him. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, what did you think of that riding? That horse race there, folks. Outstanding. We lost the rider down there. It looks like that horse is running back all the way to Sixica. They don't need a they don't need a horse trailer. <laughs> Travis, what do you think of that race?